continue to pour in from indigents of Plateau within and outside the state. Christian and Muslim women from the 17 council areas of the state came out in their numbers to pray and intercede for divine in intervention following the persistent invasion of communities from the gun by the gunmen. Our correspondent, Funam Joshua, is in Plateau. Seated in this hall are women from the Christian and Muslim faith across the 17 council areas of Plato State. They have gathered here with one mission and purpose, which is to pray for divine intervention in seeking an end to the killings. The recent killings of more than 200 people, including women and children, across three council areas on the eve of Christmas necessitated the gathering, which is first of its kind in the state. Mm -hmm deem it fit that we come together as Muslim women and Christian women to unite so that we can fight that issue of religious discrimination in Nigeria and also on the plateau. You can see women from different tribes, Christians and Muslims. In spite of what is happening, in spite of the pain, in spite of the sorrow, we have decided that we'll come together. So we pray that they would listen to us through our prayers, through our admonitions for a lasting peace on the plateau and in Nigeria. If you look at the gathering today, the Muslim women and the Christian women on the plateau are out to tell the world that we are tired of this civil crisis on the plateau. In a related development, the leadership of the Plato State House of Assembly and that of the local government chairman have condemned the invasion in some communities in the state. In a separate chat with journalists, they want security operatives to put in place swift measures to avert further reoccurrence of such dastardly acts in the state. The House is therefore appealing to the Plateau State Government and the Renew Hope agenda of the Federal Republic not to relent in their effort towards ensuring that normalcy return to the affected communities. We are going to further acknowledge the effort of President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, GCON, the President of Nigeria, for supporting the Nigerian Army in maintaining security through the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Taurik Labaja. With the President Bola Tinubu's directive to security operatives to stop the killings, it is expected that such attacks and gruesome murder of locals will no longer be tolerated. Philip Joshua, TVC News, Joss. And for more on this, I'm being joined by our correspondent, Funam Joshua. Funam, give us an understanding of how things are right now in Plateau, considering the attacks that recently occurred in that region. Well, here in just the state capital, life is just normal. People are going about doing their normal business activities. But uh, in Bokos, uh, Mangu, and Barakiladi, life is not normal. A while ago, we were at Pushit Community. One of the, one of the communities that uh, is listed among alleged to be attacked by the perpetrators, they sent a letter on the 26th of uh, December that they are coming to attack the community. We went there this uh, a while ago, but the uh, situation there is somehow uh, 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 a sympathetic one at the moment. Locals there are, are living in a state of fear because even though they said 29, they were going to attack 29, which is yesterday, and then nothing happened. They are still afraid at the point of time. And as well, it goes around to other communities in Mangu and Barikiladi. So life there is it's, it's, it's worrisome at the moment. Security presence. Do we have the likes of the security guarding the citizens in that area? And what is the government doing to ensure the security of residents who are already living in fear? Yeah, I think the directive given by Mr. President uh, for the security operatives to to tackle this 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 challenge is yielding. A positive result today the police at the police headquarters here we've seen the deployment of over 300 uh, police officers from different commands and units that you know deployed to Plato State and they are as I'm talking to you now most of them at 99% of the 300 I mentioned are across these three 
communities, Bokos, Mangu, and Barikiladi. And while we were at Pushit, we saw some bikers, the special task force bikers, moving within this community. So there's a, a little bit uh, uh, hope for these uh, uh, victims, these locals within this community. Uh, hope is gradu gradually coming to them at the moment with the presence of these security operatives within these communities. We are hoping they will continue like, like this because earlier I spoke with the spokesperson of the police command here, which assures that the troops deployed to this area are going to stay there to make sure that they avert any likely attempt by these perpetrators. Correspondent live for us from Plateau State, Phnom Joshua. Thanks a lot for the updates there. Now let's quickly return to one of our lead stories where the Senate passed the 28.7 trillion Naira uh, budget as a 2024 appropriation bill. And we'll have our correspondent, a National Assembly correspondent, Joke Adisa, to give us more updates on this story. So, Joke, let me quickly ask you this because we're yet to get more insights on this. Now, we understand that reps have also approved extending.